subscribe. Subscribe, I don't know. Subscribe don't to my hub. That too. <laughs> but stay there, I'm on my way, cause it's 12 a.m. and I see since yesterday. So I, baby, I'm right here now. I got a show in LA, we're sold out. Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy, the Mark Anthony here with another video today. And yes, I just woke up, literally woke up. But anyways, guys, that's not the point. Oh, wait. That's not the point. So we're getting into a new video today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And yeah, I really just woke up, so I, I'm going to cut this short. So honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And we'll get right to it. Today we're here with Matthew Swords. The first couple quick questions I'm going to ask you is, what is one of the biggest red flags in a female? Are you good? Hold up, let me think about this. 12 seconds later. <laughs> I'd say, what were those pig rings they be wearing? Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Who are those people? Uh, <laughs> one of the biggest red flag, any of them? I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I don't know if I should be saying this on camera, but like. What do you mean by that? They probably got some issues at home. He's got a point. Let's just, let's just say that. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. I'll say it for you. <laughs> and so the next question I'm going to ask you is, if you were to get put in a friend zone, what is the first thing you would do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see. Probably go and uh, go to Austin or something. Oh, my, go to my hot dog. <laughs> probably go to Austin. Probably, you know, try to pick up some chicks down there. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I like honestly, I'm just trying to get a bag right now. <laughs> Hallelujah! Straight hey, up. trying to get the bag or the bag? You know. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so the last and final question I'm gonna ask you is: rate my wallpaper scale one to ten. All right. All right. Let me let me pull it out. Um, just let me know what you think. All right. What do you think? That, I just I just ate like a seven inch, ten inch. Oh, pause. Horn dog, you're showing me that. Like, <laughs> I want to go to the bathroom now. I don't want. That's a <laughs> negative ten. Bro. Oh. Disgusting. Uh, that's a you, horse. What? That's you, not a. That's not a man. If you were to be a female, would you take it? Just yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, say less. <laughs> that's my. You trying to join in? <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to get ran by four black guys though. Okay. Oh, I don't know about that though. Uh, oh, that, that's I, I like personal space. Oh. <laughs> no, nah, I like I like to fill up. <laughs> Gay! Like that. Wait, wait till marriage, kids. Yeah. That, that's the right. That, that's, that's the right the choice. Follow and subscribe. Subscribe. I don't know. Subscribe don't to my hub. That too. <laughs> All right. So today we're here with Inosuke Hashibira. Ooh, 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 the little tingle got me tingling. <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? So the first question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is one of the craziest things that you have experienced during Comic Con? Um, I would have to say there's been a few interesting, um, revealing outfits. Oh, pause. So, I mean, I'm over here walking around shirtless, but I would honestly still admit there are a few people that are a little too comfortable. Yeah, he's got a point. A too comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, and so the next question I'm gonna ask you is, what is probably one of the biggest red flags in a female, bro? Biggest red flags in a female. Um, guy best friend, always. Yes, yes, yes. Guy best friend, always, man. That's as, as simple as it gets, man. Guy best friend. Hallelujah. Hey, I had I had one of those like problems before, and oh look, there's another no skate right there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those problems led to. Two. Depression, man. Oh man, you telling me? <laughs> Cut too deep. I'm gonna have to come back from that. Uh, soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's my girl best friend. We're not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> now, so the last and final question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is if there was one thing you can tell your younger self, what is that one thing you would tell them? Um, be patient when it comes to love. Mm. Definitely. <laughs> Doctor Phil, my God. I, I love that answer. Hey, that's a, that's a wallpaper right there. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna get a picture of you. Just what did he say? Oh. By yourself, hang it up and say, "Man." Just like post it up like this. <laughs> you know, okay, just... Bonus question. What's up? So I did this with Junior. So. <laughs> so the bonus question I'm gonna ask you, man, is you gotta rate my uh, wallpaper scale one to ten. All right. Oh, yeah. So you ready? Yeah. All right. Be honest. Um, it's like a. Five, like a half, a little bit more, need more effort, you know? Uh, a little bit more effort? Just you, a little bit more effort, you don't, you don't think it was good? You're kidding, right? Nah, it's okay. It, I mean, if it, it really, really shocked me if it moved. Hey, yo, what the fuck? You know. Uh, <laughs> I can make it. Yeah, <laughs> <Ugh>, nasty. <laughs> I mean, I'll do a Jason Love, you know, Piper Perry, you know. A little but, bit of, you know, Lena the Plug oh, in there, too, I, you know? I'm glad you know what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs>
Nice. Last, last question. This time, this go time. For it, go for it. If you're being female for a day, what's the what's the one thing you do? Jack off. I think that's obvious. Like, like, like down there, like yeah. that. Oh, oh okay, Masturbate. okay. That's like oh, the whole day. Okay. Second option, definitely. You know, hand over a little bit to homies. Oh, shit, <laughs> You know, got some, the homies got gotta, gotta have the, gotta homies. Hook up the homies a little bit. And me. I'd be like Piper Perry and let the four black guys hit me like that. No. <laughs> and me, football team, 100% taking it like a champ. Football team, man, I'm taking it like a champ. I'm man, going I'm finna, ah, I'm going to naughty, naughty. The playoffs. <laughs> hey, we're going to playoffs for sure. Hey, I like that. I know, don't mind the outfit. Uh, you know, had to come back at dating. Uh, there we go. <laughs> there, there we go. We're, we're, we're doing good at this point. <laughs> so today we're here with? Rudy Youngblood. So the first question I'm going to ask you, man, is what is probably one of the craziest moments that you've experienced while being in the film industry? Being in the industry. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because I went from building homes, concrete foundation, masonry work, landscaping work, plumbing, electrician. Twelve seconds later. From Belton. I'm a Belton boy. I'm a country boy. Overnight, just it just happens like that. It just It's a quick change, right? Yeah, and it, you either adapt or you, or you fail. No, no. He's got a point. So the next question I'm going to ask you, man, is what is one of the biggest things that you would tell people who are trying to get into the film industry? Like, what would you give them advice? For? I'd give them advice of don't forget who you are. That's what I'm talking about! Oh, that, that's a good one. I, I really like that one. Because not a lot of people say that in their interviews and stuff, and this is the first time I've heard that. No, yeah. Don't ever forget who you are. Nor be ashamed of where you're from. Here you ask! The last time I was in this place, I graduated. Really? It's my first time. Nice. And so the last and final question I'm going to ask you today is, if there was one thing you would change about yourself and like tell your younger self, like a little kid, what would you tell him? <laughs> Got him. Ooh, that's a good one, right? <laughs> that's a good one because I can't, I don't, I want to say don't be too nice, but at the same time, that goes along with what I say to being yourself. That too. But be careful of people taking advantage of you. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> and... Keep a smile on your face and don't forget who you are and treat Aww. everybody with respect. Honestly, I have no regrets. I have no nothing. But I would have to say be prepared. Be really prepared and truly understand what, if this is what you want to do, be prepared. Gotcha. Boy. For sure, man. Thank you so much. And the last question that's a bonus question. What is some advice you would give me since like doing YouTube, going out here, asking random people and stuff? And like, what would advice would you say going up into that like influencer type thing? Have fun <laughs> with it. For sure. Have fun with it, man. It's crazy because I'm from here. I graduated from here. I hold records here. Hey, what kind of records? I want to know. Mile and like, a three mile record. And full ride scholarships to every major university in the United States. Oh, Ooh, hold up. So what, what you're saying? Did you think you can beat me in a mile still? 100. percent Oh, cool. what's your fast? Uh, 351. 352. Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was running a 511. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. A mile? Emotional, damn it! Yeah. Oh, come on, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm being so serious. Well, it's my first year in cross country though, so I went from running like a seven something to For a five who? Temple High School. Are you a Temple boy? Yeah, I mean. You a Temple boy? <laughs> hey, this is Tiger Country over here, son. This is Tiger nah, Country over here. Nah, it's T-Town, man. You got, it's all nah, T-Town over there here. there ain't no cats over here. It's all our. <laughs> so I'm guessing the interview's over there. <laughs> Get out of my... Uh, thank all you so right, much, right, man. Right. Thank you. Alrighty, so today we're here with... <laughs> I, I don't want to butcher your name. Kochi. Ko? Kitsutu. Q. Q. Chi. Chu. Boy, if you don't get right, Q, Q, just, just Q. Q. Okay, we'll go with that. So, first question I'm gonna ask you is, what is one of the craziest costumes you've seen so far since Comic Con? Oh, today they're not crazy. Maybe creative? Is that what? Yeah, like creative, some, crazy. Uh, steampunk gals running around. Uh, like fairies. Big oh, really? Fairy. Yep, steampunk. Very nice. Very creative. Well, would you dress up in one of those outfits if you oh, had? Oh yeah, most definitely. That's what I'm talking about. I, I would too. I have to get special permission. <laughs> to wear Batman. <laughs> I'm guessing that's your favorite character. Yes, sir. So the next question I'm going to ask you is, what is probably one of the coolest things that you saw so far during Comic-Con? All of the cosplay and cosplay. just everybody that's here. That's true. That yeah. makes sense. Very I mean, cool. I mean, if you didn't see my costume yesterday, I was the Tinder dating app costume. So, I mean. Oh, were you the one that was walking around with a big? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I saw that. And if I was to, uh, you know, join into the competition, I think I would have won. Stop the cap. <laughs> 
Yes, for sure. I'd have voted for you. Thank, see, the, I should have I should have brought it today, honestly. And so the last and final question I'm going to ask you is, if there was one thing you would want to do while you're at Comic-Con, what's that one thing you would do? I'd want to be dressed up. Dressed up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With your police badge and everything? Yes. <laughs> nice. All right, so today we're here with uh, Kagan Holman as um, Lord Farquaad. Devin Ayala, my own original character, Shadow. Okay, okay. So the first question I'm going to ask you is, what is one of the craziest things you've experienced so far at Comic-Con? Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow with a jar of dirt. Oh! Mm, someone had that? Yeah. We, we saw the guy earlier, and he only gave us gold coins. Oh. Yeah. What about you, Blossom? The biggest props ever. Like, there's a scythe all the way over there. So the second question I'm going to ask you, man, is... If there's one thing you would change about yourself, what's that one thing? Um, just work out more. That's it. I already work out a lot, but I could lose a bit of this be this belly fat from summer. Yeah, that's I, really it. I feel you. I got I got that love belly. What? So uh, hey. I'm getting there. What about you, boss? Nothing. I'm perfect right now. Are you sure about that? I like that. I, I like that. Confidence is key. And so the last and final question I'm gonna ask you is, what is one of the biggest pet peeves that you have in a person? Uh, dishonesty. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Mm. Why, why do you say that? Because you can't tell anybody anything or trust anybody if you know they're going to go tell somebody or won't actually listen to your problems or anything. Period. Oh, yeah. Man, I need to write that on a paper. Hey, give me a handshake <laughs> for that. Give me a handshake for that. Thank you. Thank you. People not being, like, being able to take it when it's true. Mm. Taking, what, taking in, like, something true and stuff? Yeah. If you can't be real, like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, no. He's got a point. We, we need that type. Andrew Tate, 2023, right? <laughs> yes, sir, well, boy. got a little bonus question for you. But, the, okay, the trick question I would ask you is, what is one of the biggest red flags in a person? Uh, I'd have to say being, like, an Austro astrology girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or caring about, um, like, if which, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, zodiac, yeah. zodiac signs, like... Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh man, you're born this month. That ain't happening. Or you're this way because you're born this month. Let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. Oh, if she put a crystal in your car, how would you feel? I don't care as long as she's not like super weird and like backstabbing you or something like crazy. That's true. Um, someone that's too up in your face. Like. Two hours later. For me, I don't like that. You need to like calm down. No! 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 Sometimes. Oh, so like kind of like I'm chill pill. Yeah. Okay. That's it for today's video guys. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below and I hope y'all enjoyed today's video Please let me know down below what y'all thought about this video Oh, excuse me and um, Yeah, um, I don't really have much for it. another video is gonna come out next week And I really do hope that y'all enjoyed this video and just don't forget to leave a like and comment down below And also leave some questions that you want me to ask in future videos guys. All right, so yeah guys I don't really have anything else to say and thank you for watching and bye